above us was already engulfed in flames, flames pouring out the windows like at that time already. Like we didn't smell it, hear it. We could have slept right through it. Our alarms didn't go off, nothing. Parents to be Matthew Evans and Brianna Cisneros had just moved into the Stillwater apartments two days before the fire. When we got in, we were so excited. There was a duck pond. It was like so such a beautiful little area. There's a little bench out there right in front of the duck pond. I sat there with the dogs and was like, I took a picture of them and I was like, this is this is a really nice way to start my morning. It was the couple's first place of their own. And to celebrate their move-in and Cisneros' birthday on Wednesday, they decided to decorate the nursery for their son due in just a couple of weeks. Just a few hours after setting up, everything changed. I hear like from the our bedroom to the front door, like this man screaming like fire, like get out. Immediately like tears and like wailing like right away because we had just moved in. We had just gotten everything set up. The only things the two salvaged were the clothes on their backs, cell phones, glasses, and car keys. Everything else destroyed. Ashes and stuff came flying out like and the ember. burnt my hair, burnt my beard a little bit. I had to like put it out with my hand. I got a slight, very small, very minor burn on my hand. It's nothing crazy, but. The two are now staying with a relative and are working with the apartment management to find a new unit at the Stillwater Complex or one of their sister properties. A GoFundMe was set up for the two so they can begin to replace some of the things they lost. The responses have just been so overwhelming in such a good way. So many people, and there was a guy who's in the UK and he's like, give me an address and I will pay for shipping. I'll send you guys stuff. Like. You can find a link to the GoFundMe at fox13now.com. Then we're safe. That's all we could really ask We've for. Had in Murray, Diego Romo, Fox 13 News, Utah.